A320 to A318, A319, A321. Familiarization Briefing. Fuel. ACT Additional Center Tank. A320, Mentor Channel. Fuel. ACT. The fuel system of the A319 is the same as the A321. As the A319 CJ fuel system has some significant differences compared to the A320, we will continue with the A319 CJ fuel system explanation. The A319 CJ fuel system differs from the A320, A319 by the inclusion of special additional center tanks. ACTs. Up to 6 ACTs. 2 forward and 4 after could be installed in the cargo compartments. But, once modified to carry 6 ACTs, it is possible to operate the aircraft with 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1 or 0 ACTs. The total fuel capacity is comprised between 18,725 kg, without ACT and 31,895 kg with 6 ACTs. As you can see on the schematic, the fuel system difference on both aircraft is only the additional ACTs. Let's now concentrate on this part. An ACT transfer pump is added on the center tank used for ACT or CTR fuel transfer. An ACT transfer valve and one inlet valve in each tank allow fuel to be transferred from the ACTs to the center tank. Note, only ACT transfer valve is represented. The engine feeding system is exactly the same as in the A320. The tanks empty in the following sequence. ACTs first. Center tank. Inner tanks. Outer tanks. When the center tank is below a certain threshold in flight, the ACTs transfer the fuel to the center tank one at the time, the highest number first. Transfer is fully automatic and is made by pressurizing the tanks with cabin air. Transfer is controlled by an auxiliary fuel management computer. AFMC. An additional ACT refuel valve allow ACT refueling on ground. Let's now compare the fuel monitoring and controls. On the A319 CJ ECAM fuel page, the total fuel quantity of all ACTs installed is displayed. It is normally green. The green triangle is displayed when an automatic transfer from any ACT to center tank occurs. It becomes a plain green triangle in manual mode. The fuel on board corresponds to the total quantity of fuel on all tanks, including the ACTs. It is normally green. An amber line appears across the last two digits when the fuel quantity indicator is inaccurate. The indication is boxed amber if center tank pumps failed or have been switched off, or both outer transfer valves fail to open when inner cells are at low level, or when any ACT is unusable, only for the A319. On the A319CJ, an additional overhead panel is fitted next to the normal fuel panel to individually control and monitor ACTs. Let's describe it. This panel provides individual fuel quantity indication. If an ACT is not installed, its quantity is replaced by OFF. This is the ACT transfer mode cell push button switch. 
The transfer control is automatic. It stops when all the ACTs are empty or when the center tank quantity is above 5,750 kg. Manual transfer to the center tank is initiated. Any ACT gets empty bare off the previous ACT is empty. Comes on with an ECAM caution. Any of the valves are in the incorrect position. Comes on with an ECAM caution. This is the ACT transfer mode cell. Switch to. Off. If the ACT transfer mode selector is in manual position, all ACT inlet valves close. 1 to 6. If the ACT mode selector is in manual position, the inlet valve of the selected ACT opens, the selected ACT transfers fuel. This is all ACT push button switch. The ACT system operates normally. The ACT transfer valve closes and the ACT transfer pump stops. Comes on amber when fuel overflows into the left wing surge tank. The forward ACT guarded push button. The ACT system operates normally. As soon as any part of the forward fuel system is detected damaged, all the valves close. The shut command of all forward valves has been overridden. Comes on when the forward ACT transfer and vent pipes are detected damaged. Notice that the two overhead panels are exactly the same. You now have had a general presentation of the A319 fuel system. A320, Mentor Channel.